Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're looking to buy Corsair RAM and you want to get the hottest RAM in America, just make sure it's Corsair and it would definitely boom, burn and probably fry you. <laughs> welcome to Corsair Heat Life. <laughs> Corsair, why are you doing this? So yeah, if you ever plan on burning up, <laughs> just get Corsair RAM. If you're cold, it will heat up your whole entire life. The hottest RAM in America <laughs> by Corsair. <laughs> now, here's my thing with this Corsair RAM, right? So I go out and I went to buy actually the one that says on it Intel XMP, I think is what it says. It's the bottom box. I think there's two boxes there. Anyway, and then I said, it's 32, right? The other one's 3200. So I said, oh, the 36 AMD Ryzen ready are uh, at 36. And the first ones I bought said Intel. So you see this little round circle right here? It says Ryzen, Ryzen, uh, AMD. Right, so the other ones say Intel, and they were thirty two hundred, so these are thirty six. So I figure I'll upgrade, which I just have put the Intel ones in my rig, cause I, excuse me, just had upgraded. So like two days later, my genius self decides that let's upgrade again. Hey, Mister, mm -mm, I got it made, right? <laughs> no. I could have spent that money on something else, like my light bill that is needed in order to run the Corsair RAM, right? But no, I want more RAM. Here we go. The numbers thing. We're greedy. <laughs> the mind, the human mind, right? We want more, 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 more. It's not needed. It's a want. So I want it, and I go and I order it. Now, here's the thing. It sucked. And I'm talking about completely. So this RAM that you see right here, I try to put it in a X570 motherboard. Now the motherboard says AMD ready, Windows 11 ready. I'm running Windows 10. So I figure once you pop it in, pop, the RAM is going to work. Why? Because it's AMD ready. Now this is the motherboard which I should have stood with my original motherboard that I had that was way more expensive than this motherboard at price, what I paid for it back, you know, when I did. And it was a B450 uh, Aroas Gigabit. And that motherboard was so awesome, right? To me, to me. And even the RAM sticks that were in them. And I'll put those in the link in the description of this video because... Even the RAM sticks that I had before these, they said gaming ready. They were like uh, PNY uh, XL8s. Bottom line is, I'll put the link in the description. They on super sale for like $50, $54, probably less by now. I had two sticks of eight, so I have 16. And it's what's needed to edit, game, and so on. Now, these two sticks are 16 each, so I have 32 gigs. And I was trying to add 32 more gigs. Why? Greed. I don't know how much more is it going to change within the build or the feel or the quality or whatever, but I heard that it does pretty well, so I figure I upgrade it. Let's add some more, right? No, that RAM is super hot, and when you put it inside this uh x570 the ram sticks don't work they don't do nothing they just turn R rgb color and that's it and the settings within your motherboard bios all go to 2100 am i the only one this is happening to but in case you ever planned on doing this be aware <laughs> right so i go not only that i i added a M.2 uh, PCIe, the, the, the SSD cards, that throws out major heat in this motherboard. 
this is my guy right here. Tell me he's not cool. Look, pop. Amazing. So anyway, this motherboard is like the motherboard of all heats, right? It's just like every component that it uses blazes heat. Like, what is it, right? Then they were so ingenious that they added the chip set, uh, like the fan right here. Now, there's a fan right here. Look, and hopefully you guys are able to see this. And I just want to make sure it's grabbing, like, the cursor or what have you. But anyway, I'll show you right now. Let's just get, I don't know why it went there. So anyway, you see right here, this is where right behind the E. Where the E is at and G force pop on the motherboard is like a little brick sticking up behind it. That has a little fan. Why would you place that right there in the same place exactly where the PCIe slot 16 goes to add the graphics card? And even if I had a shorter graphics card, it'll still cover the fan. I don't know. So that's weird to have there, right? So not only that is stopping airflow, right? The RAM sticks are super hot. Your CPU gets super hot in there. Mind you, I bought a X5, uh, uh, X5800 uh, thinking that it's better than the one that I had before. <laughs> no. That mother also comes fully loaded with major heat. So the heat that I was trying to get rid of just followed me 10 times worse, right? So every upgrade is not the best of your upgrades, but you learn as you go along, pop. So I had a power supply that was already super strong. I go, I had 750 Corsair, top of the line power supply that was good. It was heating up the RAM sticks, everything well, the motherboard, good, 750. I go and I buy for two hundred and fifty dollars a RMX one thousand watts Corsair. Now tell me, why would I need a thousand watts for this rig here? Because we're greedy and we want more power. And I figure, you know what? It's future proof. If I ever upgrade again, which I already bought DDR five RAM by Corsair. <laughs> That's probably going to be super hotter for 200 and something dollars. I have them there. Uh, and it's kind of sort of like they copied the pattern to the, the PNY uh, RAM that I told you I had. Because the RGB, the layout, like the diffuser, the white part right here, the diffuser is as thick as the same other RAMs that I had. And I always said that the other RAM I had looked way better just based at the RGB is color, uh, wherever they flow through was thicker instead of thin, like the regular cores there. So I guess they heard us and they made them super thick. So it almost looks like four slots are filled when it's only two. But that's all you need. You know, I'm dual channeling. You put one in one slot, you skip a slot, put the other one in the slot, skip a slot, and put it on. All motherboards are like that, the configuration. So you want to always look at your motherboard manual. But that being said, I don't know if I made the right decisions. Now, I'm starting to cool it down and figure it out, how to lower voltages and all that, right? But I didn't want to go through all that, dude, you know? And uh, I just think it's sad, you know, to me that the Corsair RAM is that hot. And then I noticed, I found, they make a, a, a this is why this happens. Corsair actually has a cover that goes over the RAM sticks that has a fan that blows air into the RAM. And they sell you that for $54. But here's the thing. It is super ugly. And like to put that in on your on your uh, rig. They try to make it cool. Like you could change to blue, silver, or red. And I'll probably put a pic of it somewhere here. But I'll put the link in the description if you want to get it. It's cool. It's going to keep it cool. This is what I did. I put a fan, a little $9 fan I bought pointing directly to the PCIe slot that I told you how to get super hot also. That's my 
streaming rig. It has a 2060 Super in it. I'm probably going to change. And it has integrated graphics because it has an i7 7, 700K. So the, the, the Super is not even needed. I just added it uh, to utilize it. But I got a few graphics cards. If anyone is in need of a graphics card, mixers, uh, anything, fans, uh, Ram sticks. If you need anything, let me know if I can help you out. We will. He has tech for rec. And other than that, we do a lot of giveaways. So if anyone can tell me the exact make of that radiator up there that's connected to this and you get the exact make, like the name and the number, the exact name, then I'll give you an Audio Technica microphone that I have brand new in the box. Facts. I might pick, whatever I pick is going to be cool, but you definitely get the Audio Technica microphone. But with that being said, everything's just hot. So let me know how you lower your voltage, and I'll be keeping you up to date on how I've been lowering my voltage. I'll make a video like that. So that's all you got to do is lower the voltage. The whole thing of the video is you got to lower voltage. But the power supply, there's nothing you could do. The fan doesn't even start spinning until you put a heavy load on your PC. And that sucks because by then, it's already gotten so hot. The other power supplies, the fans is just spinning. I'd rather the fan be spinning and not blowing all that heat in my room. That makes your studio super hot, bro. So, yeah, that 1,000-watt power supply that I just put in there, if you're trying to get one, let me know. It's brand new. I haven't even had it in there two weeks. So I'm about to uh, get rid of that when I got the box and everything. I'll either post it, and I'll probably just go right back to the 750 watts, regular Corsair uh, uh, power supply because I'm trying to diffuse heat. Why would you bring more heat to my setup? And not even have that fan spinning on a thousand watt power supply. So that could cause everything else to get hot because the heat travels upward. And that's what we're trying to do get heat out of this uh, PC case, right? So I don't know. Drop a comment. Let me know. That's a 3060 Ti right there. If you want to know MSI, I have it for like a month or so. Uh, but yeah. Uh, before this, in there, I had an X580, a 2060 Super. Uh, a few graphics cards have been in here. But, uh, yeah, let me know what's up. Those are Corsair fans, all of them, the Radiator, and the fans are switched to QLs. It came with LL, LL uh, fans, and they just weren't dual ring. And I wanted dual ring, so they're not the actually blow hard uh, Radiator fans. they just regular fans. That are put up there for peripherals. Like I guess I'm trying to say like for looks. <laughs> but it definitely has a little airflow. But not as hard as the LLs that were intended for radiators. Facts. Hopefully you got something out of this. Hopefully uh, you can let me know in the comment section. What should I do? Or what you think is best to do? What you do to cool down your PC. Right here the glass. Uh, the tempered glass is off of the case. Sometimes I wind up doing that. And it doesn't help much when there's just beaming heat on the metal parts of your whole PC. So when I add the fan pointing directly to it, the PCIe slot with the M.2 gets super cool. And they're making them now with fans integrated into the metal so it blows cool air into that piece there. because. Just by putting the uh, heat sinks, that's not working. When it's Gen 4, uh, now they're doing Gen 5. That's blazing heat in the Gens. Maybe I could lower the Gens in the motherboard and in, in the BIOS, and that would cool it down a little because it's on Gen 4 because they the Samsung uh, Gen 4 ones, uh, 2 gigs. I think it's at $169. I'll put the links in the description, too. It's awesome. It makes your PC super fast. But at the price of dealing with super heat. So, yeah, can you make these machines, like, super, super durable and fast and a super great experience for gaming? Sure. I just did. And I've done it 
well, I was cool before with a 2060 Super Mini. The performance, I didn't see much of a difference at all, if not any. Just once in a blue moon, when playing hours, you would get like a quick lag pop in your game with the 2060. But if put at low and medium settings, you're good money, bro. And the picture quality never changed. Especially when I'm using a Elgato HD60X capture card. So it's capturing the gameplay. To, it's amazing what you could do without spending super money. Now, here I go, and I spent a few thousand dollars right here. But at four times the heat. I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's fair at all. Something needs to be done immediately. Yeah.